the depths of my heart You see, you know, you feel every ache in my soul Prune every branch to There's no room for anything else No one loves me like you do I'd be showing off tonight. What? Um, by the time you're watching this, I will have uploaded a four part series of the past four, three, four weeks where I basically escaped <laughs> the day and uh, just, I experienced a lot. Went to Fullerton, then Long Beach, Irvine a little bit, um, Hume Lake, Kings Canyon, because Hume Lake is in Kings Canyon. Uh, went to Emeryville, San Francisco, Daly City. Uh, what, what is that? I always forget that one. Castro Valley. Ah, San Mateo, and now we're back in the home base, but look at, come on guys, like, that's just, I just, oh gosh, yeah, um, but um, 
yeah a lot of this vlog is not much of talking because i didn't want to i wanted to take in all the sounds and the things so i didn't want to talk as much because i wanted it to just be some me and god time so i can safely say i had a lot of that time there was a lot of a lot of time of with god and i um am i gonna cry right now baby oh guys you know i think a lot of times people look at us christians and they're like why y'all crazy why do you guys give up things and like why do you guys give up a fun life or a fun lifestyle all these like fun things why do you why do you guys like say no to all these things right i get it i get it because it's like oh my gosh you guys seem like people who have no fun but guys the christian life is the most adventurous life yes i cry a lot but i cry a lot because it's called the gift of tears first of all and also um the kind of love that God offers is the most tender love that he could ever, that anyone could ever provide. And these past couple weeks, yeah, neediness grows and neediness has been a thing, but also so has him like taking me on these, all these fun adventures and showing me all these amazing sights. Like he knows I love San Francisco and I got to experience the San Francisco life a little bit. Um, that was really stressful. I would not recommend that um but i got to see the beautiful painted houses and the sunsets and the sunrises and meet strangers and cool people randomly and talk to people and have people pray over me and um solo traveling isn't solo traveling guys because you got a plus one with you i just always remember that now like my forever plus one is god and guys, yeah, someone called me a Jesus hippie one time, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna live into that. I am a Jesus hippie now. What, what are we gonna do about it? But anyways, uh, I think I just want to end this vlog with uh, just an excerpt, and it's a nice view. So, you know, nice view, but talking to the camera is always a nice addition. Um, I don't have anywhere I'm going with this. I'm just closing out the vlog and just letting you know that. I hope as you saw some of these moments that I recorded um, and remembered, um, I just want you to have a taste or a glimpse of how intentional our God is and how much he pursues the ones that don't out of our own strength. You know, we don't, I don't out of my own strength, like I'm draw near to him. He just he just provides and keeps chasing so let him chase after you let him pursue you like a like a lover pursues the one he loves because he does that so well um he does it so well he does it so perfectly um and he knows our every single need and he knows our every single um like but just the little things that make us us because he's like the one that created us which is crazy but um yeah just the life that you get to live, man, it's a life that you don't want to miss out on. So if you're watching this, like, I don't even know, because, you, you know, you can't tell who, who's watching. Like, you just get the little view count and, you know, whatever. But, like, maybe, maybe someone's watching this and you're like, I don't know, what's this Christianity thing? I think life doesn't really have meaning and I'm trying to figure it out and everything else is empty and I feel empty I just want you to know I've been there before too and I've been like what is this life I feel empty I feel purposeless life is sad and sucks um everything's hard but um when you surrender your life to God you really don't have to be that way alone and you have some constant you have a constant companion with you and it's better than anything else the world can offer so emptiness is not the end all be all um and thanks for having a sunrise sunset sunset talk with me so i shall see you guys around <laughs>